The finalists for the 2023 Jim Stein's Community Leadership Award are Bailey Banfield, Fremantle, Ben Brown, Melbourne, Harry Cunningham, Sydney, and Sam Doherty, Colton. And the winner of the Jim Stein's Community Leadership Award for 2023 is Sam Doherty from Colton. that banded together not only just Carlton people but the AFL community when we're at loggerheads during season when we're playing each other and teams hate each other and then for a moment in time everyone jumped on the same path and it was pretty amazing to be part of that and I was alone in my bed and shed a few tears just watching the, the flood of it all come through and I guess started from the footy club and more specifically probably my teammates and I just don't think that they realised the impact that they had one on me but and two on an organisation that treats some pretty dire situations and that 220 grand is not to be sneezed at when I'm sitting on the foundation now and seeing where that goes and how far that gets some researchers and or equipment that we need to be able to um, potentially make a huge difference in the world. It's um, at times you can get lost in life in terms of the purpose of why you do anything. Why I do everything that I do is, has changed significantly. I've obviously got a family but secondary to that is um, to give back to people that are going through a tough time and I was one of those people. Well, Sam, you know what, there wouldn't be a person in this room that doesn't know your story, your incredible fight back from cancer twice. The football community is in absolute awe of you. This honour, for so many reasons, must mean so much to you. Yeah, it does. Um, yeah, it's just, I'm, I'm pretty humbled to be up here, to be honest, to, um, to have a, an award named after Jim um, and to have my name associated with that's pretty incredible. And, um, yeah, to be on my journey and, and to be able to sort of come out the other end and, and find a real purpose um, with what I do with my life outside of footy and um, yeah, it's pretty incredible to be honest, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more about Peter Mac Foundation, what they do to help and what you do to help them? Uh, I've been very um, blessed in a way. I, my, I always speak about my journey as a blessing in, um, in many ways, which is a weird thing to think about with it being cancer. and. Um, yeah, it's a, I got an amazing opportunity through Peter Mac to be able to be an observer to the board this year and um, I wanted to give back to an organisation that had, that had given me so much over my time and my journey and um, I didn't feel right doing it sort of um, halfway, so um, sort of entrenching myself in the whole organisation and um, it's been an unbelievable experience for me personally um, from a development point of view along with um, being able to see the inner workings of a place that helped me through a really tough time. And um, yeah, there's, there's some amazing people within that organisation and um, seeing it firsthand, the doctors, surgeons, one of my surgeons is here tonight, but it's, um, yeah, it's just an incredible place to be a part of and um, I'm incredibly yeah, blessed to be, um, to be able to do that. And would you like to thank family and friends? Yeah, I, yeah I've had to think about this today. It's a, it's a, it's a tough one, but um, ex firstly, excuse my voice, I'm, I'm losing it as the day goes on, but um, to the Steins family, um, oh, I'm, I'm incredibly humbled by accepting this award. It's, it's definitely not the reason why um, I do what I do, but um, to have my name alongside Jim's legacy, I, I, I feel that's a, a really big thing. And um, I just want to say thanks for the award. Um, and I, I can't speak more highly of him, so um, thank you very much. Um, secondly, to the AFL, um, to put on this award, there's, there's a lot of players along the industry that, um, that do a lot, of t a lot of work in the community and the boys that were nominated today, um, well done for that. I, I know, as I said, this is not why we do it, but congratulations on the nom nomination. Applause for that, yeah. Um, I, I work with sort of three organisations. Peter Max, obviously the big one given my journey, but McKillop Fam Family Services. I just want to thank Anna, who's done a, a mountain of work um, to help me through that. I'm very blessed to be able to, 
to help you guys. Um, the, the Royal Children's Hospital was um, obviously the super clash this year. Um, being a part of that was absolutely incredible. And having my own daughter that's eight months old, the, the thought of having her in hospital and then knowing that that organisation exists is, is unbelievable. And then lastly, Peter Mack, as I said, I'm, I'm very blessed that um, the crew there um, took me on and um, gave me the opportunity to see the inner workings of it. So um, thank you to them. And, and lastly, they, these organisations don't exist without everyone that's at home or you guys in the room. Um, your donations thrive. And they make these places work. And um, I just want to say from being on the other side of it, laying in a hospital bed, um, it's not just the money, it's the emotional support that all of you give. So um, I haven't had an opportunity to speak in front of a national audience like this to be able to say thank you from, from my heart. Um, so I just want to say thanks on the end of that. Sam Doherty, ladies and gentlemen, you are absolutely inspiring. Thank you.